Uh, good evening. Thanks for the introduction, Sean. It's my pleasure to present the next award to a true change maker, not only in our union, but across the construction industry. Alana Markland is a journey person Red Seal welder with a B pressure ticket. She was the first woman to participate in the UA International Apprenticeship Competition after having won the Canadian National Competition. She became a welding instructor at the Alberta Tr Pipe Trades College before being appointed to her current position with UA Canada as the National Manager for Youth, Diversity and Indigenous Relations. For her innovation and leadership and the significant accomplishments she has made to break down barriers and create opportunities for women in the construction industry. Her tireless commitment while raising a young family of her own has brought about significant change that will make our industry more inclusive to working families. From championing the National Parental Wellness Program to supporting members during pregnancy and early childhood years to the Maternity and Parental EI Assistance Benefit Program that pro provides financial support to assist families while they're off work for the first year, to her contributions in putting on Trades Women Build Nations, the largest conference of its kind in the world, and the Build Together Alberta chapter, championing the launch of the Supporting Working Parents co campaign, aimed at taking, sorry, tackling the unique challenges skilled trades workers face in finding affordable, accessible, and quality childcare. Day in and day out, Alana demonstrates to the industry that change can happen. You just have to be persistent and work really hard. Congratulations to Alana Markland on your CBTU Distinction Award for Workforce Development Champion. Alana Markland. Thank you so much, uh, Canadian Building Trades. Merci beaucoup, everybody. Thank you, Terry. Honestly, that wow. Um, thank you. Really, truly, does not even begin to describe the gratefulness that I have for this evening. The gratefulness that I recognize every single day for being part of the United Association and a part of the Building Trades. Honestly, I, I would say that I'm speechless because that's truly how I feel, but uh, they did give me a heads up that I had a few words I had to say, so I <laughs> figured I'd better find a way to um, explain what it means to be a part of this organization. So never in a million years did I ever think I would be where I am today. As a young woman just wanting to pursue a career behind a welding lid, make a good living, I wanted to put in a good day's work for a great day's pay, I wanted to make a life for myself and my family. I knew that the skilled trades was a career that I could be immensely proud of. It's one that I could pay my bills, put food on the table, and even enjoy the occasional vacation. But what I didn't know was the opportunity, the potential, and the vast diversity in what the building trades really is. For that, I am truly grateful. I am so proud to do this work, and that I have the opportunity to share and expand this incredible collective community aimed at protecting workers and protecting those that build this beautiful country. The building trades to me is so much more than that though. To me, the building trades means four special things. It means opportunity, community, protection, and allyship. Opportunity because it's something I didn't even think about when I started my trade. I entered to become a Red Seal welder and honestly I thought that's where I'd stay because I absolutely loved it. Um, but within the trade, I began to see that there is limitless opportunity, not only in career roles, but opportunities to change people's lives. These careers can bring people out of poverty. They can provide financial stability, set somebody up on the path for success. Opportunity in the unionized construction industry is immeasurable. The next one to me is community, and that's what holds all of us together. Our collectiveness, our solidarity, the fact that we even have all of these different stories, we come from different backgrounds and journeys in life, we can all find common ground in the community of the building trades. 
We all might look a little bit different, come from different places, speak different languages, but the more we learn about each other, the more we realize what we have in common. So I urge you tonight, while you're visiting and enjoying the evening, try to spark up a conversation with someone else that you might not have spoken to before and build up this community and let's strengthen our bonds. You might just learn something more in that you have in common with others than you might even think. Another thing that the building trains means to me is protection. Now we all know that it means protecting workers' rights, fair wages, safe work environments, but protection to me also means our community of protecting each other when we face adversity, harassment, discrimination. It means standing up for each other, looking out for each other, to do what is right for working people. Protection in the building trades means no matter where you're working, you have an entire collective of people behind you and you always have somewhere to turn. From organization as a whole to our small groups of coworkers on our job sites, there's always support. One of those for me is Build Together, Women of the Building Trades, and it's a prime example. Being a part of this committee has made, I've made incredible friendships and I've been inspired by these women. Build Together isn't just a women's committee, but is truly a team that believes in the labor movement and the tradeswomen movement. Last, but certainly not least, and this is probably the number one thing to me that the Building Trades means, it's allyship. If it wasn't for the people in my life, many of whom are here tonight, who have helped me pave the way, guide me, teach me, provide opportunity, I wholeheartedly know I wouldn't be anywhere near this podium right now. If it wasn't for the incredible support from my family, my friends, my kids, particularly my parents and my husband, I wouldn't be where I am either. If it wasn't for the first journey person telling me that the most important toolkit that I have is my brain, <laughs> I wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for UA Local 488 initiating me into the local, I also wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for my fellow UA members, incredible instructors, support system through my local, I wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for my first supervisor believing in me to pass my first official weld test and allowing me the opportunity to give it a shot, I wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for Alberta Pipe Trades College taking a chance and having me represent them at the UA apprenticeship competition, I also wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for Build Together, Women of the Building Trades, and the support of the Building Trades of Alberta after all these years, I wouldn't be here. And if it wasn't for the United Association, the general president, the directors, the staff, the local unions, the members, for everybody for believing in me, I truly wouldn't be here. And this isn't just my story. We all have people who have influenced, influenced us along our career paths. If it truly wasn't for all of our allies, our community that believes in us, no one would be where we are today. This is the foundation to me of what it means to be part of a union. This room is full of people who can make a difference, and I know it's full of people who already have, probably more than each of you already know. We have the power as leaders in the industry to give skilled, talented tradespeople in this country an opportunity to experience, this, to experience the opportunity, the community, the protection, and the allyship. The building trades have made diversification of the industry a priority, and this is only going to keep making us stronger. By supporting this change, we are the change, and we are continuing to build the workforce so that we can build the jobs of tomorrow. I'm so proud to be able to do this work on behalf of the United Association and the building trades. We really are stronger together. This is a movement for all of the right reasons, and it's what's going to keep our unions strong, productive, innovative, and inclusive. I am so honored, and I am so humbled truthfully, to be here today. But I recognize these awards aren't just for me. This is for everybody before me, those alongside me, those that will continue to do this work until the barriers have been lifted, and anyone with the drive and determination to become part of the best skilled and highly trained workforce. And I believe we are well on our way. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.